Today we're going to examine space arcs and how they relate to a new message by Thor Han Eridian about the Boeing Starliner that was stranded in space. Space arcs are massive, self-sustaining spacecraft designed to carry large populations of humans or other species across vast distances. Space arcs could be used to transport us to the Medbed Moon Station that is being built in the event that the healing beds are not able to be brought to Earth just yet. Please understand that this is not to discourage you or propose that the technology won't be brought to Earth. It is merely a backup plan in the event that space travel might be in our future. A space arc is a massive, self-sustaining spacecraft designed to carry large populations of humans or other species across vast distances. The idea stems from the need to preserve life in the face of cataclysmic events that threaten a planet's habitability, like environmental collapse, overpopulation, or cosmic disasters. The primary purpose of space arcs has usually been to ensure the survival of a species. They are mobile habitats capable of supporting life for generations, often on journeys lasting hundreds or thousands of years. These arcs may be designed to reach a distant habitable planet, colonize a new world, or act as floating cities in space, drifting between solar systems. Some depictions of space arcs serve as lifeboats to preserve biodiversity from Earth or some other planet. They are frequently portrayed as vessels of hope, carrying the seeds of future civilizations, including human passengers, plants, animals, and artificial intelligence. They have also been portrayed as roaming libraries or archives, holding the sum total of human or alien knowledge and culture. Well, Thor Han learned some interesting information out about the Boeing Starliner craft that couldn't get home and how it relates to the disclosure program. Through Elena Danan, Thor Han communicated that interference with NASA communications is one maneuver of the disclosure plan that has been underway. I don't know if you know, but the wounded Starliner craft recorded a stange pulse. We are going to listen to the sound that the astronauts heard and further discuss Thor Han's information and the concept of space arcs. First, let me ask you to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel if the content interests you. And if you would like to support my channel, you can leave a super thanks which helps me with expenses and is always greatly appreciated. Also, I've got a little store with some original designs that you might like. The store is linked in the description. Okay, so let's talk about the Starlink mission and exactly what this cover-up is about. The Starliner Mission The Boeing Starliner is a crewed spacecraft developed by Boeing for NASA's commercial crew program. Its purpose is to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station, the ISS. The spacecraft was originally scheduled to return to Earth in early June 2024, after an eight-day mission, but due to multiple technical issues, allegedly including malfunctioning thrusters, the mission has been extended. The spacecraft and its crew are now expected to remain at the ISS until early 2025, as engineers work to resolve the problems before Starliner's safe return. On August 31, 2024, Astronaut Butch Wilmore reported a noise similar to a sonar-like pulse while holding a microphone to a speaker inside the spacecraft. The sound, resembling an echo, was transmitted through the communication system to NASA. NASA deemed that the under-two-minute heartbeat sound was caused by an audio feedback issue between Starliner and the ISS, and that was the end of an inquiry related to the issue. Just yesterday, Elena Danon reported on this pulsating sound and the purpose of the Starliner mission in June. As always, there will be a link to Elena's video on this for further investigation. The explanation came from Thor Han Eridion, a high commander on the Galactic Federation of Worlds battle station named the Excelsior. Thor Han communicated to Elena that while he wasn't personally involved in the mission, he learned that the Starlink incident was not an accident but a signal from the XL-6 battle station as part of the ongoing alien disclosure project. The pulse that was transmitted was an order from the High Scientific Office. The pulsating sound that lasted for under two minutes heard by the Starlink astronauts sounds very much like a heartbeat. Let's listen. <laughs> 